Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video brings me back to Grandfather Mountain. We're going to be attempting to do the Grandfather Trail. Uh, this is a trail that contains all the ladders, cables, ropes, a uh, very steep, steep hike. A 1500 foot climb I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a lot of rock scrambling. Uh, in fact, it's, if it's not the most, it's one of the most uh, technical trails in the southeast. And I have not completed this trail before. This is the only one up here at Grandfather Mountain that I haven't, I haven't gotten knocked off. Uh, hopefully we can make it to the summit. We're just gonna play it by ear and see, see, kind of see how things go. So we're gonna hit the trail and get started. So it gets pretty rocky right off the bat. I wanted to mention that today's date is Saturday, October 7th, 2023. Uh, currently about 45 degrees. Some morning information here. Return by 5 p.m. Currently still before 11, so we do have plenty of time. That's one thing you need to make sure you do. A strenuous hike like this, have plenty of time. All the blue blazes. Uh -huh. All right, so we've come to a trail intersection here and uh, we're going to continue straight here. We're not going to turn off the trail, continue on this trail right here. Really nice view of this peak in the shot here. Not sure if I mentioned before, but if you do the, this trail out and back, it'll be somewhere around four and a half miles if we complete it. I don't think we could hang in A lot of ups and downs. It's not necessarily an incline the whole way. Uh, at least it hasn't been so far. But we still got a ways to go. And the fun parts will be uh, yet to be seen. Windy spot right here. Do have lines up a bit. Wind is really picking up the further we go. Take a right here at this intersection. We may take the Underwood Trail on the way back. We're gonna go that way. It's amazing how very, very windy it is one minute and not at all the next. Even the trees above me here are not not blowing. Just about the exposed areas, I suppose. All right, so here's this section we're gonna have to use the steel cable to get up. It's gonna be fun.
No, you're good. Wow. Some crevice here. Fantastic view right here. See right there in the center screen is the swinging bridge right there. Straight up. Ooh. All I can say so far is you're well aware of what you're getting yourself into before you venture out to do this one. I think it'd be a little less scary if it wasn't so windy also. This one was pretty windy up there. Another short letter. Some drop off right here. Lots of color here and there. Starting to pop. Another crevice here. Small letter here. No. And two after another here. Through all these rocks. I need a break.
pretty steep rock scramble right here, straight up through there. I think our plan is to go check out uh, the attic window, whatever that is. And then we're gonna make our way back down to the Winterwood Trail. And then uh, take that route back. I don't believe we're gonna go to the summit today. You know, that's okay. Just trying to be smart, keep track of time. And do what we're comfortable with with all the wind up here. So this is the spot right underneath the attic window. Here's the Underwood Trail. I'll take this route right here. and rocks and more rocks down through there we go straight down through there all right so we're about halfway down we'll go ahead and end the video here i right, guess give a few final thoughts uh, it's uh i would say this you know it's hard to predict the, how the weather and elements are going to be when you come here you kind of have to just pick a day do it ahead of time to make sure you can get a spot and uh you know if you're lucky you have good weather if you're not then you might you may not have good weather but i uh, did not have any rain or anything like that but the wind has been pretty rough today so it's part of the reason why we cut it short but i don't know it's been a very good day saw a lot of good views and it's definitely an adventure uh worth recommending And I will also say that I'm glad that I have uh, checked this trail off my list. Even though I didn't make it to the summit, I have been to the summit uh, two other times from other trails. So, uh, given that fact, I'm not too upset about not making it there. And uh, again, the wind is, is uh, very, very strong in places up here today. Not too bad where I'm standing at the moment. But, uh, that's some pretty exposed areas wind is, is you know barely tolerable to be honest but, uh, other than that very good day uh, I recommend checking it out if you can make it and you know good weather uh, recommend that might recommend even doing it during the summer but, uh, if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't thanks for watching